The Roman army is perhaps the most well-known military force in history, and has become legendary for its strict discipline and overwhelming successes in battle. Given the reputation that the legions enjoy for their hardiness and effectiveness, it's almost as though an air of invincibility surrounds them. It's important to note, however, that the Roman armies lost a lot of battles, and some of them quite badly. But the Roman army possessed a unique ability that proved impossible for their enemies to match and made it an all but hopeless task to totally defeat Rome. Concisely put, what set the Romans apart was their ability to immediately raise new armies even after devastating defeats. After the Battle of Heraclea between Rome and Pyrrhus of Epirus, that had proven hugely costly for both sides, King Pyrrhus could not believe that the Romans would not sue for peace, instead sending new armies into conflict immediately. Similarly, when Hannibal invaded Italy, he was flabbergasted by the Romans' ability to raise new armies each time, almost immediately after suffering three catastrophic defeats and losing over 100,000 men at the Trebia, at Lake Trasimene and Cannae, in the space of less than two years. But how is this possible? Firstly, the Italian peninsula was one of the most populous regions in the ancient world, providing Rome with a huge pool of manpower. Secondly, the Roman army was comparatively cheap to maintain, as the Romans recruited primarily from poor social classes, who were willing to fight much cheaper than expensive mercenaries hired by Rome's enemies. Finally, the Roman military ethos and the deeply ingrained military culture of Rome made it so that there was always a citizen willing to take up the sword in defense of the eternal city. Now as always, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video please like, comment, subscribe and become a channel member to enjoy exclusive benefits.